Mm, that that's powerful right there. How how you how do you feel about the influence of hip hop on the youngsters? You think it's playing a major part in, in what's going on out here? In what way, negative or positive? In a negative way. Yes, because you know why? Why say that? Break it down. The system is promoting it. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. Look at all our young. These young men are smart. Because they know how to take words and put it in form so that people can listen to them and follow them, right? So mm -hmm. these young men are our modern day Malcolm X's and Martin Luther King's and Patrice Lumumba's, uh, King, uh, Jomo Kenyatta. These are our modern day. Right. But the things that's coming out of their mouths are negative. And the system is promoting the negativity. Right. It's promoting it. So they dying off, they killing each other. So in that sense, it's a negative aspect. That's the negative aspects of, because we losing our young kings and queens out here, our young prince and princesses. Now look at all the young future leaders that we ain't lost because of somebody and did somebody else homie on a record, or they talking about going and uh, uh, peeing on somebody grave. You know what I'm saying? But also look what hip hop, has done for a lot of our youth. For instance, nephew, he just yeah. won a Grammy, didn't he? Yeah. Did he just win a Grammy? Yeah, he did that. Yeah. How he get that? He got that from hip hop, then. He got it from hip hop, yeah. How many people thought that he'll live to get a Grammy? A lot of people didn't think he'd make that far. Now watch this here. Who? became, a, who was a part of his life to help him make that transition? That was you, that was SD, that was his father, and there was everybody else, all the rest of the elders around him that helped him make that transition. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? To show, him a be, to show him a better way. But what if he ain't have all that guidance around him? What if his father and his uncles and none of them would have never came home? No, he would have kept drilling. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So now we see the positivity in the in hip hop. Look at your killer mics. It's you, you and had your Lit Dirt winning Grammy with Killer Mike winning Grammys with J. Cole in between winning Grammys. You see what I'm saying? So that's hip hop. True that. True that. So, yeah, that's definitely hip hop. Yeah. Uh, man, you really hit me with that one. Give me one of them. One of them. Good fair stories, man. I know you got one in you. You know what I'm saying? Give me one of them oh. good ones. You're like, man, you know, I ain't me trying to tell that story. You know, one of them good fair stories, man. You know, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm finna tell you a good one. SD wind up in the same in the same institution as me. We was in the same as we wind up in the institution. So prior to him coming, everybody knew that it was coming because his co-defendant was there. Uh, 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 Rio was there. So Rio was letting people know that he was on his way. So when he get there, he going around, SD, he going around talking to everybody. Everybody want to be up on the because They basically like, oh, he coming, he coming, he coming. So they asking me all kind of questions about him and all this stuff. I'm like, man, hey, everything I heard about the brother, you know, say so he's the people's champ. So when he get there, everybody want to be around him. So he listening to everybody. So now when he started laying everything down on them, people start scattering and getting away from him. So now me and Reed, food brother, we the last two to talk to him. So me and him start talking. Me and SD, we start talking. We going around the track. And he's seeing what my mind is at. First thing he say, Fig, you got to do more. You got to do more. You got to do more. I'm talking about that, man. Every time something happened in the institution, it ain't had nothing to do with me. Feet, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. You know how he talk, you know what I'm saying? That's my man's though. That's my man. He made me and Reed do more than what we was doing. You know what I I'm saying? What do. That's what he that's, do. That's my guy. That's my guy. Man. You know what I'm saying? Love him. Yeah, Love real. him. Love him. Real dude. Hey, that's the real one right there, man. Y'all made it through the motherfucking storm, man. Motherfucker got to salute y'all brothers, you know what I'm saying? Stayed on y'all ten toes and came on home like real ones, you know what I'm talking about? And held it down, bro. Brought he structure in there. Right. He brought structure. That's the house. I'm going to say this here. And I want everybody to understand this here. 
Look, bro, SD was in there before a lot of us came there. He held that down, bro, until people, until a lot of a lot of more people stopped coming in there. That's the house that SD built, man. Do that. Got to give him his props, man. People might to. not want to give it to him. You got to give him his props, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he held it down, ten toes down, man, and never folded. Never folded. Kept kept going until he made it home, man. And he's still True. doing the same thing, man. Love you, bro. Peace. Much love to you, man. True that. True that. Now, look, check this out. I know I always be on the net, you know what I'm saying, doing what I be doing. I be running across seeing shit. I need you to break it down, you know what I'm saying, because you you a little bit more eloquent than me when you speak, you know what I'm saying. All these guys on the book, man, be back and forth with this, 360, Tell them, break that down, man. What is, what ain't, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? There's no such thing, man. There's no, no seven twenty. There's no such thing as a seven twenty. Everything is three hundred and sixty degrees. Inside this book, it speaks on three hundred and sixty degrees. That's it. Seven hundred and seven twenty started with us, man. My generation, my generation, me, Baby D, all of us. We was in that Cook County Jail, man. Mister Dewan Dixon. We all was in that Cook County Jail. We started that not knowing what we was doing. 720 came from uh, exercise. We started giving out 360 degrees, I mean, 360 workouts, right? Where people was violent, we give them 360 workout. When, th when the 360s wasn't working out for them, then we had doubled that up to 720. Right, okay. And so from 720 went to 1440, to 28, this, we just started doubling up. That's how 720 caught on, bro. It became a life of its own, and we didn't even know what we was doing. One thing we was doing was just giving out an exercise. It started taking on the life of its own, bro. So there's no such thing as no 720. Man, he just put it down. So y'all just heard it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no dispute. Ain't no back and forth with it. You know what I'm saying? The 360, 720 thing is dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But look, check this out. Is we letting off the rest this year or we still on the gas pedal with all rest? Oh man, we all man, we ain't never let off the how can we just let rats in the house, man? Rats will infest the house, they'll run us up out of there. You know You're gonna always about? be on the we always gonna be on the gas pedal. We just gotta uh they hide. They hide, yeah, yeah. They they, they hide, hide right now, but you know, right they, they know yeah, the rat know. traps is out there, they know not to stick their head up. Let them, if any one of them stick their head up, they will get caught in the trap. The rat That's saga cool. will be on. You know. You know, and if y'all ain't checked out the Red Saga, man, log on to the channel, man, PLM News, man, and check it out. You know what I'm saying? He got him titled. You would know it when you see it. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. That's all hey, bro, I got to say. Let me give you your flowers, bro. Let me give you your flowers, man. You're doing your thing out here, bro. I'm trying. You know, you're doing your thing. You're doing your thing, man, and I support you, man. I support your clothing line. I support the, the, the attire. I support the platform. Every time you're putting something out, I'm going to share it. I'm going to like it. I'm going to comment, man. Hey, I love what you're doing, bro. Keep doing what you're doing because you're giving it to them straight from the streets. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get your flowers too, man. So everybody, check in, man, to Real Members Real Members Only TV, man. Check in to Real Members Only TV, man, and then support the brother, man. The brother, man, is out here doing his thing, man. And he in the trenches with it. He in the trenches. True that. True that. True yeah. that. yeah, yeah, man. But look, you know, we and, and it's just an introduction because we're gonna bend back and do and, and really chop it up some more on many other topics, man. I know the people are gonna want after they see this one. This one right here is gonna, gonna do some numbers. I'm knowing it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, and I got I got a few more questions though. We can't leave just yet, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got I got my guy out here, you know what I'm saying? We post been doing this for a minute, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta we gotta get some last minute chop, we gotta really chop it up. But a, a, a question you know what I'm saying, I wanna put out there is uh if you had about 90 seconds to say something to, to, to the old man, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Mr. LB Hoover himself, man, what, what what would you tell him if you had 90 quick seconds, you know what I'm saying, to say anything to that brother? I admire your strength. I admire your, your fight. And please understand that you have 100% loyal supporters out here. All the work that you have sacrificed your life for us, man, it, it's not going in vain, man. You have true supporters out here, man, that's that's on your side, bro, that's pushing to get you home, man. 
So don't think that you that you are a forgotten soldier because you are not a forgotten soldier. Your vision continues to live and you will, the way it's coming about, you're going to, you'll love it, bro, because you're seeing us now living in that vision, bro. Your vision is our vision. And we are for you, bro. And we're for hey, you that's real. all the way through. Hey, that's a real one right there, man. It's probably the first time. I I mean, I, I didn't pose the question, but it's probably the first time I ever heard someone give words to him. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we be, we he, he done left us, you know what I'm saying, some words, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we out here still be, you know what I'm saying, eager to hear, you know what I'm saying, just a few words from him, you know what I'm saying? But I've never heard nobody, you know what I'm saying, express their words to him. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's real right there. That was real powerful, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted to hear it. And you yeah. just you just you just started that right there, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and man, I, I, I hope that go by right there, you know what I'm saying? Words to him, I might have to chop that up, and you know what I'm saying? Edit it type of way, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And make it into something right there. But uh, man. yeah, man. But give us some more words, man. Uh, uh, Fiji, you know what I'm saying? What you want to tell the people out there? I mean, you want the people to know, or some some to 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 the to the non-active OGs or or the active, OGs, you know what I'm saying? What 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 you think the people should be doing? You know what I'm saying? I think this here. We have been left with the fiduciary duties, man. We have a blueprint. We've been left with these duties to carry out the blueprint. I'm talking to the elders, man. Right. That you all have a responsibility. I'm an elder now, considering that to a lot of these to these youngsters out here. So to my generation, to my generation, those who are 56, 57, all the way up to 60, man. Y'all know y'all know who I'm talking about. You have a duty. Get up off the couch, man. Live the vision, man. Share it. Get out here. Do the work. It's our job. It's our responsibility. We can't hold nobody feet to the fire until we hold our own feet to the fire. Right. So I'm holding my feet to the fire. So if, I'm, if my feet been held to the fire, then everybody that come up with me, your feet is being held to the fire. You know what you're supposed to be doing. And and that's that's love. Yeah, it's love right there. True that, true that. Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Where we at with it? Let me ask you a question. Go ahead, speak to me. What's the difference between a daisy and a rose? Be honest, uh, be honest with you, I don't, nothing, you ask me. They both flowers, right? Right. One is just yellow and one is, and one is red, right? Right, yeah. What's the difference between a Democrat and a Republican? One, one say they red and one say they blue, right? But they the same, right? They the same. You know what I'm saying? So I tell people this here, focus on your local elections, mm -hmm. where the changes is going to be made on the local level where you live, concerning the police around you, the school, your school, your libraries, your trash, your zoning laws, your ordinance. That's where you focus at, because that's where you, that's that's your every day life. See, they got us believing that we're going to make a difference with Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Right. That ain't going to make no difference because the electoral college is electing them. We got to be on the boots on the ground, what's going on in our own community. Look at the aldermans in your community. What, what, what ward are you from? 17. You're from the 17th ward, so you got an alderman there. So that alderman, you got more access to your alderman than you got access to Joe Biden or Donald Trump, right? Yeah, that right. So that, that's what's affecting you on a daily basis. The jobs in your community or the lack thereof in your community, that comes from your city council. That comes from that alderman going up there, up in that city hall, represent your interests. So let's focus on the local elections. Not no, don't, don't get pulled out. We'll get to the, we'll get to the general election. But let's focus on getting our own communities together first. Well, we got the most say it and the most control. Because mm -hmm. we ain't got no control over what's happening with that electoral college. Yeah, but we got right. a lot of control who going up there in that city hall, sitting up there with next to Brandon Johnson. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of control there. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tell people. Focus on the local election. Because there's no difference between a 78-year-old and an 81-year-old that's up there making gaffes. You know what I'm right. saying? We got one. We got we got one that's got ninety one charges. You know what I'm saying? Then we got another one who who don't know if he's coming or going. So hey, you know what I'm saying? So hey, man, focus on what on our communities. Hey, 
That was real right there. That was real right there. You just you just gave a real spill. I, I couldn't even ask for a better answer on, on really none of the questions I asked. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to drag this one out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep this one short and simple. You know what I'm saying? For the people, man. So we can bend back for big and better things we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Any last words you want to get the people out there, Fee? What I want to say is this here. We the willing. We are the willing. It's our job, people. It's our job. Let's support. Let's clean up our neighborhoods. Instead of us trying to worry about what's going on on a national level, let's clean up our neighborhood. Let's clean up. Let's clean ourselves up first. You know, and, and I encourage all men, women, no matter what tribe, no matter what street organization you belong to, man. Listen, man, we are one. Because when you suffer, I'm suffering. I ain't got no more than what you got. Yeah. And on that note, man, I just want to man, give my thanks, man. I want to thank, man, uh, Real Members Only TV for, for having me on, man, for even talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, know, I so, thank Positive Lifestyle Management. Thank you too, my guy. I always know you got my 100% support, bro. Whatever you need me, man, I'm here for you. Hey, we finna get started. We finna get started. finna start warming up, so just be ready. We finna get started, baby. No doubt, my brother. Hey, so yeah, I'm going to tap in with you tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Say, I love you, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's always love. Much love, my brother. Peace. Peace.